Welcome in to the American Lean Podcast. It's Thursday, so that means we want to talk about Industry 4.0 enablers. And today, I want to talk about systems integration. Now, as I mentioned in the original Industry 4.0 blog, there are nine enablers that support Industry 4.0 or smart manufacturing. And because of the many systems involved, systems integration will be key to keeping it all together. Key enablers of smart manufacturing include cybersecurity and blockchain, cloud computing, IIoT, or the Industrial Internet of Things, big data, systems integration, autonomous robots, which are called cobots, additive manufacturing, which we know is 3D printing, augmented reality, and simulation and digital twins. Now, 5G speeds are going to be key to helping us collecting all kinds of data in real time and integrating the data types from various systems will become important. And that's where systems integration will come in. We'll get into the topic right after the intro. Welcome to the American Lean Podcast, where we cover five topics in five days in about five minutes. The only place in the world where you can get daily lean coaching. Your host is Tom Reed, and he shares his 30 years of experience and covers leadership, culture, entrepreneurship, lean methodologies, industry 4.0, and interviews special guests on their lean journey. We're glad you're here. So let's go. Welcome in to the American Lane Podcast. It's episode 46. And like I mentioned in the intro, we want to talk about systems, integration, and how it impacts Industry 4.0. Now imagine, as a manufacturer, you have your ERP system that collects your enterprise information. You have PLCs, which are programmable logic controllers, controlling your machines. Your quality control group is inputting data into the cloud-based inspection system. You track warranty costs in another PLC, which is product lifecycle system. Your sales and customer information are collected in Salesforce. And then finally, you want to deploy sensors on key pieces of equipment to receive real-time performance information to improve your maintenance program. How are you going to manage all these disparate systems? Systems integration will become key to keeping all of this working together so that you can develop information from the raw data points. As you can see from this example, it's like putting together a puzzle. Every piece needs to be in place for you to complete the puzzle. Now, while every business is different, there are some steps that most organizations will follow when beginning the process of systems integration. So step number one, you need to do requirements gathering. What does your business hope to gain from undertaking an industry 4.0 digital transformation? What do your systems do today? And what would you like them to do? Do you know what customers expect from you regarding systems and scalability? Will you be invited to a larger company's private blockchain? to enter data into the blockchain? These are all questions and many, many more you need to answer as you begin your systems integration process. Step number two is to do analysis, where you will evaluate different solutions for your company to consider. Every company is unique to a certain extent, and the analysis phase will allow for solutions to be evaluated that will meet the needs of your business. Smart value streams can help in collecting the information needed to aid in that analysis. Step number three, System architecture and integration design. Completing the system architecture first will allow the systems integration design phase to go smoother. The architecture phase is like it sounds. You develop blueprints of the subsystems that will make up your integrated system. This is where the plan of integration is architected. Now, the next step is the integration phase. Following the blueprint laid out by the system architecture, the integration phase can then begin. Now, this is usually the most time consuming aspect of an integration project. This is where a digital representation of the architecture is developed and trialed. Step number four becomes implementation. Depending upon how many systems need to be connected, this step can be very time consuming and data integrity and testing is key. Engineers will have to ensure that the bugs are removed so that your company can successfully use the integrated systems as desired. Data testing and business process improvements need to be validated. Employee training needs to occur and a go live date established. So as you can see, there are lots of moving parts in a system integration transformation. I suggest you use your experienced project managers and then some lean methods such as Agile, Scrum, and process management to aid the success of your overall systems integration and digital transformation project. So that covers some highlights of what a typical implementation would look like from a systems integration perspective. Remember, consuming information is great, but I want you to take this information to make yourself and your company a little bit better today. This podcast is for you, so if there are topics that you would like me to cover, or if you'd like to share your company's lean journey, please contact me at tom at americanlean.com.
Full show notes can be found at AmericanLean.com slash blog, systems integration, and industry 4.0. Until tomorrow, have a great one. Thank you for joining us today. As always, we're honored to serve you, and we hope that you and your company are getting a little bit better every day. Please subscribe, rate, and review this podcast, and share it with others in the lean and business community. If you'd like to turbocharge your lean efforts, please visit us at AmericanLean.com. 